Honestly, ever since I got it, I immediately regretted spending all the money on that. <laughs> Hola, what is up you guys? If you're new here, I'm Anna, I'm Latina. Si tú también eres Latino o Latina, déjame saber en los comentarios de dónde me estás viendo. Today's video is a first for me. I'm basically going to go over things that I regret purchasing in 2021 and things that I actually think are worth the investment and if you're considering, I think are a great idea. Now that I'm looking at my stuff, I have more regrets than things I love, which should be interesting. I just wanted to say that all of this is 100% my personal opinion. If there's something here that I regret buying, but you love and it worked for you amazing you know we're all different we all have different needs in our lives different lifestyles let's start with what you probably came here for the products i regret buying no particular order but one thing i can tell right away i regret buying is this little fenty bag i got this from the instagram page it has a little strap there's an instagram page on instagram there's an Instagram page on Instagram. There's a page on Instagram called Treasures of New York City. And I found that store a long time ago through one New York blogger. They sell used designer things for amazing prices. I... It hurts to admit, but I 100% regret buying this bag. The only reason why I got it is because it was a pretty, pretty good deal and it was a Fendi one. It's not the best quality. It's definitely a little bit beat up. I thought I was going to wear it more and I think I wore it once and that was it. So that is something that I spend my money on and it's literally been sitting on the shelf. Have not touched it since. I don't even know if it's worth anything if I try to resell it. Like I said, it's pretty beat up. So at this point, I think I'm just going to hold on to it and hope that one day I like it. It was definitely just for the name and to say that I have a Fendi bag, which now I know the brand should never be the reason why you're buying a bag. The next thing I regret purchasing, expensive phone cases. Why on earth spend more than $50 on a phone case? These two right here are basically $100. Do you have any idea what I could have bought with $100? A really nice pair of Nikes that would last me years. As soon as you upgrade your phone, you have to throw them away. It's not like you can sell them because they get beat up pretty fast. I don't know. I'm just going to keep buying those $8 cases on Amazon. And this is just so we can have the little logo of the brand. And I think it's not worth it. Speaking of a $100 pair of Nikes, one thing... And this really pains me to say that I regret buying because I just got it literally three weeks ago. The Nike Blazer Mid 77. I've been wanting this pair of shoes for a year now. This is actually something I had on my Christmas wish list last year. Didn't get them. This year I went ahead and purchased them. But... I thought I was going to use them a lot more and I've worn them once and I honestly gotta say like many of the things that you're going to see that I regret buying I kind of got this just because I saw a lot of girls on Instagram wearing it it's like way too similar to my platform Converse which I do wear those every single day like at least twice a week I wear those it was just a little too pricey compared to platform Converse I think it's going to be one of those shoes that I wear maybe like once every two months so I'm going to make it a thing to try to wear them more and this could be any pair I know New Balances are super trendy now and the Reebok shoes just make sure that the shoe that you're buying is because you like it and it goes with your outfits and not because everybody else on Instagram has them. Don't buy things because of that. Trust me, you're going to regret it. This one, I had to sit for a minute. It's 100% a love-hate. I feel like I had to make up my mind to see if I regret buying it or not. <laughs> my little Gucci purse. It pains me because, listen, I do wear it a lot, but honestly, ever since I got it, I immediately regretted spending all the money on that. I got this for my birthday over the summer. I do wear it a ton, but because it does not fit my phone, I have the 12 Pro Max. It's a pain in the ass. Honestly, it's so annoying. I wear it a ton because it's cute. It goes with my outfits. If I want something minimal, just a night out, but I can never put my phone inside, and that's probably why I regret buying this. From now on, I'll never do this again. Again, I learned my lesson. Don't get a purse that your phone doesn't fit in. My husband has an iPhone XR, I believe, or something like that, like the smaller size. That one fits perfect, but the 12 Pro Max doesn't. I would say if your phone doesn't fit in it, don't buy it. It's not worth the money. Next thing I regret purchasing. This is so stupid. Expensive as deodorant. I loved it. It worked, but I found this brand that works just as well, if not better, for half the price. I think this was three or four dollars. And this, depending where you purchase it, would 
was anywhere from 11 to 15 dollars which is so much for deodorant it honestly didn't really last that much so i was having to buy this once a month or twice and if you add it up it's pretty expensive so i found another natural alternative that was a lot more affordable again this is probably because i fell for the marketing every cool girl wore it it was plaster all over target and it does work really well i'm kind of reconsidering where my money is going in little things like nails and phone cases and deodorants so that's something that i definitely will be more aware of next year i want to be smart about my finances another thing that i regret purchasing is jewelry out of everything in my jewelry collection, very few things are solid gold. Most of them are gold plated, gold vermeil, verme, I forgot how you pronounce that. Very few things are solid gold and the ones that are, are the only ones that I wear. Just the act of having to take them off to do daily activity like working out, showering, putting perfume is just so freaking annoying. Yeah, it's a lot easier to just spend $35 on a necklace versus, I don't know, 98 or something like that. What happened is that I found myself buying a bought a load of similar necklaces because they all started to tarnish because it's not real gold. I'm 100% positive I ended up spending more money with buying small things here and there than just making one investment in one really good quality piece and not having to replace it. If I was to get all the money that I spent on all these pieces, I can definitely buy myself some really nice solid gold pieces that will never fade or tarnish. So. I regret that. <laughs> Something that I did a lot of this year, I regret it, but I kind of know I'm still gonna do it, is spending so much money on candles. Like, it's so ridiculous. This right here, $50. In this year, I bought so many, like two a month. If you add it up, that is $1,200 that I could have gone to my savings account. And instead, I burned them away. Get it? I burned them away candle burn again i'm pretty sure i still do it most likely i'll just don't get as many i'll limit the amount that i get blowing so much money on literally candles so dumb have one more item that i thought i would just throw in there because i've seen a lot of people on instagram telling me that you guys like it and i love it but i haven't worn it since i got it except for once and it is my cowboy boots <laughs> Technically, this is not a purchase. They were very, very kindly gifted by Boot Barn, but it's something that I was this close to pulling the trigger on buying, like this exact same model. I wanted them so bad, again, because it was a trendy thing on Instagram. I saw these outfits of all these really cute girls wearing it, but as soon as I got them, I realized these don't really go with anything I own because it's not my style. I mean, they're cute and all, but I probably have maybe two, three outfits in total that I can pull off with these boots. If you're gonna buy these just make sure that what you already own goes with it and you're not buying it because you're having this idea of how you're gonna look with those boots and all the new outfits that you're gonna purchase because that is not gonna work that's exactly what happened to me if you're still loving the trend that's my advice moving on to my favorite purchases of 2021 <laughs> I talk about expensive shoes that I regret buying. There's one pair of expensive shoes that I do not regret buying at all whatsoever. They're probably really dirty. I'm so sorry. Nice quality slippers. These are from Emu Australia. Ugg also makes great ones. When I tell you that having nice quality slippers it makes a difference, like trust me, I would have never spent more than $20 on slippers. Slippers are the one pair of shoe I am 100% wearing every Every single day it makes sense to buy something that's good quality because you can buy a ton of really crappy slippers they're probably gonna be ripped in a month they're not gonna be comfy but I noticed I've had these for a few months now and they're just as good as new super comfy I would say invest in the shoe that you wear at home every single day especially if you work from home my favorite purchase of 2021 can you guys guess it's an accessory she's bougie she's designer my YSL bag this is by far my pride possession not because of how much it's worth and because it's a designer purse but because I finally bought something that I truly am getting a lot of use out of I wear the crap out of this purse every single day every single week day and night I do not regret a single cent spent on this purse ever since I got this purse that was sort of my cap for designer purses it was like I don't need anything else this is literally a day and night bag it's perfect it literally goes with everything in my closet I think that's why I wear it a lot too I have two videos already reviewing this purse one was the unboxing and first impressions tips on buying a designer handbag and the second one is my object review and what fits in my bag she is truly my ride or die 
I wasn't planning on talking about skincare or any beauty items because that could totally be a separate video but there is one product that truly changed my life this year is this five-in-one moisturizer from first aid beauty I've tried a lot of moisturizers in my life trust me this is one that I'm like everybody needs it it leaves your skin amazing it's sensitive skin friendly i was able to wear this both summer and winter it's a five-in-one multitasker it reduces the appearance of wrinkles helps skin tone appear more even filters uva ub uvb rays nourish and moisturize it combats surface free radicals and there's one product that i was like this changed my year is this one i am a lazy girl at heart not even a heart like i'm just a lazy girl everybody knows that and i also have adhd so any product that can make my life easier i'll go for it this is the one and all i just put it on and that's it i got my moisturizer i got my anti-aging i got my spf and my skin also feels so good it's not like this moisturizer is that just sits on top and feels kind of weird like this really gets in your your skin and you're left with the nicest little like velvety skin touch moisturized I don't know but you guys should get this one it's good this is technically not 2021 but my most worn number one pair of shoes was definitely my platform converse and I'm just putting this in the video because I know a lot of people out there are on the fence about buying these or not I always get a lot of DMs and comments asking if they're worth the hype if you guys should buy them my answer is 100% yes but again make sure it goes with everything in your closet but as far as me and my personal style this goes with every single thing my most worn pair of shoes probably these two items are the things that I wore the most this year so a small little baby investment that I never done before is buying a nicer hairbrush I would usually honestly spend three dollars four dollars on whatever hairbrush and I found this little guy this is the wet brush it's like their eco-friendly one it has a little two kinds of bristles I've seen girls on Instagram talk about hairbrushes and they've all said the same thing it's kind of silly to say that you need to spend this much money on a hairbrush but it really changed my life and although this is not a very expensive hairbrush compared to the ones that they use for me it's a step up for sure given that I purchased five dollar hair brushes my entire life it changed the game I no longer dread brushing my hair because it leaves it soft and smooth I just didn't know how much of a difference a nicer hairbrush can do and I would highly highly recommend you toss that shitty ass three dollar hairbrush and go to the store and get you a nice one it's gonna change your life and the last category for things that I do not regret buying this year is simply everything that I invested in myself. This year, as you guys know or may not know, it's my very first year that I was a full-time content creator. From January to December, that was my only job. I bought many things like a new laptop, I bought microphones, tripods, cameras, like all these equipment, hard drives, you name it. And usually I would not hesitate to spend money on clothing but if I need to buy a new laptop, I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's a lot of money. Even though I spend the same amount of money in a purse earlier that year. Something that I learned this year is that I should be more aware of where my money goes. I spend a lot of money on material things. Half of those I truly regret buying. It could have been saved up for a bigger investment like a computer, camera, lights, any equipment that would help improve my channel and my job. That is one thing that I have zero regrets. So whatever it is that you do for a living or whatever your passion is your side hustle if you're on the fence like me always about making that big payment trust me you're not going to regret investing in yourself and in your business alongside with the investing in yourself category something i've never spent money before until this year is invest and the non-tangible things for myself meaning webinars coaching therapy mental health i would just honestly be cheap about that and be like oh my gosh you want me to pay how much just to see a webinar because it's not something you can see it's not tangible it changed everything for me so if you have the chance and if you can there's a little self-development personal coaching retreat that you've been eyeing and you're like should I spend the money on it I do not regret a single cent that went towards those things it was truly life-changing so I have zero regrets on that that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy this I would love to read in the comments what was your least favorite purchase and your most favorite purchase of 2021 I'm so curious to see what you guys are so please leave me a comment below letting me know that don't forget to subscribe i don't know if this is going to be the last video of the year i'm going to take these last two weeks off just to you know work on myself get some alone time do things off camera this may or may not be the last video what happened to my am i 13 again this may or may not be the last video if it is happy new year merry christmas happy holidays 
I love you guys. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. I post videos every week. It was my goal to reach 10K before the end of the year. Today we have about 490 people left. Realistically, I don't know if we're gonna make it to the end of the year, but if you're seeing this before, please subscribe. Help me reach that goal. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.